Welcome back to Mango Plays Planet Zoo and welcome to my first speed build of pla on Planet Zoo. Actually, it's not of Planet Zoo, it's on Planet Zoo. Ah oh, dear, and um, yeah, it, this is I think about three and a half hours worth of footage which cut down quite heavily so you will see some jump cuts. Um, try to see remove my mistakes because I am not a planet zoo expert um if you watch my beta series you will remember that i unfortunately have no planet experience so not play planet coaster um and this is my first sort of introduction to the franchise um basically the animals sold it for me uh, i was pretty much on board when i saw how cute the animals are and the fantastic animations that the guys at Zip Frontier Developments, I believe, um, have done. So um, this is me trying to make conservative, concentrated, conservative, not one of those words, an effort <laughs> to actually um, build something that I think would fit in our crikey zoo. Um, so at this point, I'm just kind of laying out the path work. I am looking at, the, obviously, the Australia Zoo map, trying to align as best as I can with the map, considering I can't or I don't know of a way to move the guest spawn location. Um, and this area is actually sort of taken up by an animal that we don't have in Planet Zoo at this point in time. There's only, what, one animal that comes from the Oceana area, um, which is the sort of water crocodile. So I, I um, spent sort of quite a while going through the list of animals to A, find an animal that I thought or felt like actually fit in the um, temperature requirements of this area and, and would work quite nicely with just what I'd like to see. And um, I, I just wanted to go for the red rough lemurs. Um, one of my favourite animals is the lemurs, the black and white standard ones. I actually thought they were the only lemurs in the world. So um, this game has taught me about an animal I didn't know existed. And they are beyond cute. They are fantastic. Um, I've done a little bit of research on them. Well, as you probably... Um, I've just been rambling and waffling here at this point. But let me talk to you a little bit about what I decided to do. I, as I said, I'm not experienced at Planet Coaster. Definitely not experienced at Planet Zoo. And um, I really wanted to sort of play to my own little wheelhouse, which is square boxy shapes. And um, what's better than a square boxy shape? Then utilizing the new world, modern feeling sort of look pieces with a modern build. Um, so I did a bit of Googling and got a reference image which hopefully as long as there's no copyright problems I'll throw up now um, and that's kind of what I was using as an idea to just sort of keep me on track um, with how I wanted the building to lay out you can see here I've got the um, overhanging roofs which um, I'll soon hopefully at some point start to bring in and, and make more cohesive by using pillars um, in this case I use steel beams which I think are a fantastic piece um, and uh, yeah I'm just playing with the windows at this point trying to create a second floor it's not a it has no use other than to try and look good I am um, I have removed it from from this footage but quite often I was coming up from the back looking from the path trying to make sure that the building looked right from as if I was a guest was trying to um, really have that making sure that I was doing the right impact there well that that's completely not centered is it that's rather annoying um, I, I I think I fix it <laughs> so yeah I, I spent a long time battling with the grid system um, the, the keyboard shortcuts don't seem to be working properly at this point in time they're very ad hoc you know you press 
the X key and it just wouldn't happen. Um, so rather frustrating. But uh, this is me just trying to add detailing to my modern Lima Park. Um, so yeah, I this is it. I did a little bit of work um, reading up about the lemurs. And um, so I thought I'd share some things that I learned, which I found quite interesting. So the red rough lemur and the black and white lemurs understand each other's calls, even though they are from the same um, country, but different areas of Madagascar, um, which I think is pretty cool. And um, the females can give birth to up to six infants. Can you imagine? I, I know, I, just crazy. Um, and quite often they are prolific with the amount of um, children, ah, here we go, I fixed my error. Uh, the amount of children that they do um, reproduce at once. Mainly because unfortunately, the majority of the young don't make it over the three month mark. Um, they quite often, or mostly die from falling out of trees, so from the height. Um, which is kind of sad to hear. Um, and understandable, I've never really understood why any animal can sleep in a tree. I I just can't imagine myself being able to do it, I guess. Um, but they, they are on the critically endangered list and unfortunately are losing habitat due to humans acquiring raw materials from their area. So basically logging and, and, and other things basically. Just ruining their, nat ruining their natural habitat. Which is kind of sad. They're also um, apparently quite a large pet trade um, which I fully understand they are incredibly cute but they're not pets they're wild animals um, and you know most people that would actually use or want these guys as pets are not looking to stop them being critically endangered so um, part of my um, I, sort of changing subject quickly here because I notice I am building my um, undercover uh, habitat area um, I really wanted that building so I did gave it a little bit of an L shape I really wanted to have a sleeping zone for the, for, um, the lemurs as well as a large viewing area for guests I thought that would be pretty cool um, and here's me just throwing in barriers I I think I work on them sort of moving them around later so they're neater but I was just trying to get them in and throwing them down. Um, and yeah, I was quite excited because I haven't used the knoll barrier at all. Not once, not whilst I was playing in beta, um, not even whilst I've played around with the sandbox mode of the game. And I really wanted to utilize the knoll barrier and see whether or not the walls actually prevent animals um coming through um and yeah they did on my game i know they have on many other youtubers but there's been some weird bugs that i was like mm, maybe it won't work on mine um i because we're in such a hot area but i'd utilize that and i brought a gulpy in and um hopefully that will increase traffic into the far end of this habitat sort of viewing area um playing around obviously I'm getting it all decorated up. I just wanted it to be very understated in this area, not over the top, um, because it's this modern house sort of feeling. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of wanted to keep it sleek and um, blacks and whites and browns and just not overly complicating the area with colours. And you see. I've got a bit of colour with the donation boxes and I also wanted to put some do not disturb do not disturb signs up um, because they're sleeping they shouldn't be disturbed um, and yeah I, I, I'm actually quite proud of what I managed to achieve on the outside of the area yeah how many of you guys commented or, or noticed should I say that they failed to check the spelling of Lima um so yes I did I did fix it um and yeah I really wanted to do some fancy terrain again I wanted to test the game I wanted to because these are climbing animals 
wanted to know if I had gave them some height, would they utilize it and then jump out? And so I was like, okay, let, let's build a little mountainous region in the corner. And you know, we, we've got to do a waterfall, obviously. Uh, so yeah, there's, here's me trying to work out shaping and size, etc. And and really getting my first taste of playing with the rocks. Um, and and I think this was the point I was starting to lose my patience <laughs> with the key binds not working. Um, having to use the the gizmo buttons rather than the key binds. I I am definitely a person that prefers using keybinds to mouse click so you know uh coming from sort of secretarial background keyboard is king and so yeah i i was um not gonna lie swearing to myself whilst doing this i am quite pleased with the outcome which um takes a good long while to get to and um I just I just work on the um, on on the rocks really. So red rough lemurs um, they are on the critically endangered list. The CR is their um, the, the sort of little sign that's used against them is the red CR, which uh, I think that's one up from basically really in trouble. But if it has CR, they are in trouble, which is really sad because they are so adorable. Obviously, there's lots of humans out there who want to make sure these guys are okay and um, zoos are working really hard they are obviously working to increase the captive population to then obviously at some point in the future re-release and reintroduce to increase the wild population so the zoos are talking to each other they are following plans that have been worked and, and used for other species that have gone through this critical endangerment because of human <laughs> interactions etc um, and and yeah they're, they're working with each other uh, exchanging breeding pairs um, and and actually in some instances they are capturing wild lemurs to assist in ensuring there's no inbreeding or reducing the effects of inbreeding um, maybe you guys have experienced it in the game yeah I haven't personally um, I was a little bit surprised in the beta that there was no inbreeding as an issue. I was I was also gratefully happy because it meant I could just keep breeding for conservation credits. Um, I am really curious how it's going to affect the, the franchise mode going forward. The water feature, which I'm very excited about. Um, first time playing with the water effects and uh, let me tell you that I, I, I didn't have fun. <laughs> I was quite pleased with the eventual result but yeah, a little bit difficult um, in my opinion uh, to work with but I'm sure I will get the hang of it eventually. And um, yeah, we, we sort of used the top part of the waterfalls and then uh, mid sections, I think I used 10 meter. Uh, sections to try and get a little bit of distance. So yeah, the, I, I put in a staff path, I realized that I needed a water treatment plant, uh, made sure the the habitat would run nicely, and I put, uh, built a climbing frame. Probably the, actually the hardest bit I did was building this climbing frame. The building was frustrating because I couldn't get the walls to align properly in the way that I wanted. Um, I think I probably actually learnt more from building this climbing frame than I did the walls because the way everything intersects. Um, but I'm quite pleased with it. It's very basic, but it does fulfill the climbing requirement for the lemurs when they eventually go in. We'll see the lemurs utilizing the climbing frames. Uh, sometimes the animations are pretty cool. Other times they're very broken. <laughs> But overall, I am pleased that um, they have bits they can climb. I also increased the climbing space by adding some climbing foliage. So yeah, do let me know what you think of the build into it overall. 
be very interested to know your opinions on Lima Park and whether or not you think it fits the zoo. Returning to live commentary in three, two, one. Hey, hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse and um, fingers crossed that my money problems resolve as soon as I get this in. But um, I'm quite pleased with what I've managed to achieve so far with um, my Lima Park. Um, so let's actually move our lemurs in. Well, I say lemurs, I have one. Ooh, maybe I can have more. Okay. No. Way. Here we go. Right, move this one, and um, let's let's play the game for a short period of time. As you can see, uh, we got some issues going on right now. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. Yay! Whoop. Okay. First things first. Let me click on it. There's no enrichment, which is understandable right now. That's fine. Terrain. Got some issue. We don't need hard shelter. That's great. Um, uh, we need some coverage of plants. Okay. Terrain. The enough climbing area. That was something I was so worried about. I was really worried about this waterfall area, whether or not they'll be able to climb up. And um, and whatnot, but seems like we're all good in that regard. Oh, yay! Oh, I love lemurs. Um, I've never ever seen these ones, red rough lemurs, which is why I thought I'd choose them first. Okay, so let's get some habitat of bits and pieces for you. We we should be all right in regards to food so that should be cool so put some enrichment items around here I said they don't need hard shelter but I gave them hard shelter so maybe that's why it's saying it doesn't need it I forgot about that it's been many hours since I built that um, so there okay and so you got toy enrichment one I think that's Oh, we've got a small ball as well. We'll leave that for the moment. Food and water. Uh huh. Let's um do the feeding over here. And our terrain. So too much long grass. Not enough short grass, which is cool. And a little bit of sand. Uh, there we go. Quite green exhibit. Don't mind a bit of greenery, my love. Jeez, quite a nice one. Right, okay. Plants, Africa and tropical. Let's go. And actually, considering she's so happy already, let's um, move the boy in Rano. Um, and we'll just add the plants in. Uh oh, are you climbable? You might be climbable. Don't put your tree trees too close to the fences, otherwise you'll be in trouble. There we go. Whoops, I added all of the scenery to a group. But they're all they're all in now. Oh, you look so pretty. Okay, I will explore you in a sec once um we have definitely Yeah, we we've got everything sorted. Apart from social, which mm, understandable right now. Oh my god! He, she, don't know which one this is. Just using the um, his tahina. Um, using the frame. I love it so much. 
Oh, it's so freaking cute. Hello. Where's your mate? Where is your mate? This is the, the fun of a spot for Lima. Ooh. Oh, not in here. So I put a little do not disturb sign here. Oh, the view is quite good. Look at it. Lovely. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, let's um, get all of our education boards going. So let's take a propaganda at our lemurs. So I tried to... Um, ooh, that's not a gander at my lemurs. Try to be quite conscious of the way it looks as you're sort of coming in. So um, as a visitor, basically. So here we are. Lima Park. Use some signage for a change. And then we've got a nice viewing area here of the climbing zone. Which, granted, I probably need to improve, but look, you can see the wondrous lemurs. It's a nice bit of distance from the guests and the animals, because I do believe the lemurs are a little bit shy. And then we can, as, as a guest, continue in into the building. Maybe I should put some aircon. Looking at those guys sweltering away, and um, they can go up to here. I do believe the path comes all the way up to here, so they can view from this area. We have the information boards, and the enrichment items and the feeding zones are going to be in this zone. So, to encourage hopefully people to come in, and that's why I've also added the gulp. Um, soda which i don't know why there's no vendor i gave a vendor thing i obviously need to do um some work in regards to the work zones um but we also have some areas here where we can sit and watch them sleeping sit down and enjoy our drinks um, it's a little bit bare bones, that will be because I don't have many props at all, but oh, hello, you're just right there. But aren't these gorgeous? I love them so much. I um, think they're fascinating to watch their, their little hands and everything, and I think they've done quite a good job in the game of making them look so fluffy. Um, the sound effects, I, I don't know what these guys sound like at all, but makes sense. Um, and, and the climbing animations, it, oh, could do with some work. Oh my god, here's some noises. Are you? Are you? Are you? You're attempting it, I think. Or are you just having a natter with each other? You just try. Did you give it a go? Oh, look at the tail! Oh man, they make me squeal. Okay, so let's um, wait out a little bit. So basically, I am being bankrupted by the animal food cost. Because <laughs> I have so many babies. Oh dear. Fingers crossed we start to encourage more spend we're, we're starting to get like 400 people coming in a day this is good i don't know if i just take out another loan it costs so much money uh, we've got two years remaining on a loan that i had to take out to finish building this place come on guys come spend money at the lima park oh dear I need to put some bins out over here. I can't, I can't, I can't afford it. Hello, where's my caretaker? Hello. Come with me. Do this area. Clean it. Ah ha ha ha. Gonna get some feeding. Some pretend we're a guest. Oh, look at them running off to the keeper. They're like, oh, it's. Just like in real life in a zoo. 
they recognize the uniform they recognize the person they're like yep i'm i'm all for it i'm down i'm a coming what's going on yeah she's hungry it's fine food has just been placed oh so the, the females are bigger than the males something i didn't know isn't it normally like the other way around oh look like it's little play Oh, we might see them use the shelter now. I'm hoping also this shelter will encourage people up here because of um, getting themselves getting sheltered from the rain. No. Why do I always press the wrong buttons? Oh my god. Oh, look at that it is. Oh, they've done such good work here. Ah, yeah, the gulpy is going. Right, people are are coming in. I think purely to get out of the rain. Am I making money yet? I won't be able to make money until I can sell my babies. Right, Garials. Any youth center trade center. I wonder if that will reduce my food costs. A little bit unrealistic, but I can hope. Just need to start making money. Uh, it's not powered. Can't, I can't afford to clean with water. Put the lights on. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we have actually reduced our food animal food which is great so we got we're now making money not much but not bad either so just gotta wait for enough time to pass i guess the word lima is derived from the latin word limures meaning spirits or ghosts hmm. okay These guys are critically endangered, so I'm quite excited about the conservation points that we should be able to garner from breeding. Where did they go? They're not boxed up, are they? Like, it's constant paranoia that they're going to end up boxed up. You and your little habitat. Oh my god, they're having a kip. Oops. How small do these guys get? I might my, my movement so jerky. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you even put snoring noises in the game? Oh, I miss having an animal in my life. Yeah, if you go inside, you'll see them sleeping. Why is no one donating to the Malimu? Probably because they can't see them. See, I don't know if this area is a good idea or not. Because... Well, they don't seem to want to go further in. Which means they're going to miss a lot of the action. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Whether or not I should close off that window area. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm sorry I missed the meeting. I'm dead happy that you are going to be having offspring because this one, it should improve my money. <laughs> and conservation reasons, of course. It's very handy that the game now tells you when they've matured because, yeah, being able to immediately trade them out if that's what you were planning on doing is incredibly helpful. Wait, yay, yay, yay! Here we go. Oh my god. Hello. 
Oh. You are so cute. So we got our first of Rally Red. What are they called? Red Ruffled Lemurs? Red Ruff even. Um, going straight to follow its mum. And I have my first waterfall, which I'm quite proud of. Well, guys, um, I don't think I can get myself out of debt in, in this episode. Fingers crossed it will happen soon. Um, do let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments down below. Leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I and our Red Rocket Lima Babby will see you in the next one. Bye for now.